Hello YouTube. Today's video, we're going to be talking about the S19J Pro. We sent out these boards for repair, just got them back. So these are the repaired ones. We're talking about the details of the whole process. So if you think that's interesting, hit like, subscribe, hit the bell, go to CryptoLLC.org. If you want us to set you up a GPU or ASIC mining farm, or if you want to buy yourself some ASICs or GPUs. Before we get started, Bitcoin saves your wealth. Jesus Christ saves your soul. All right, let's get started. So, we got all these boards back. These ones are all repaired, ready to go. So we're gonna be plugging these guys in. Uh, this first video here, first half, it's gonna be talking about the uh, process of sending them in for repairs, getting them repaired, getting them sent back, and then we're gonna plug them in and see if they work. So, first thing, what happened was, we got a batch of S19 J Pros. They came in, like 250 of them. They came in, and uh, as you're plugging them in, they were working fine. But then we had, you know, one board go bad, and then another board was showing zero A6. So this is very, very standard. Um, when you get like 250 miners, each one has three hash boards in it, and what happens is some of them just come broken basically they have like a manufacturing defect or they have something wrong with it or whatever it is these are in the back of my car right now and uh, what you have to do is you have to just unplug the bad ones you have to kind of mix around the boards because for these s19 j pros if one board is bad the whole rig won't run or the whole miner won't run which is very very not smart from uh, bitmain because the s19 pros you can run one board at a time but for these j's you can't you have to have all three in there so we had one minor break, so we had to pull out all, the, all three boards or just pull out the bad one, keep the other two and wait for another miner to break so we could take one board from there, plug it in the first miner that broke to create three boards to have it running. So here's seven of them. And uh, so we had to do it like that, so make it kind of mix, mix around things. All right, for the repair process, uh, you make a ticket on Bitmain. And then you type in what you're sending them. So we're just sending them the hash board. We're not sending the whole miner. We never shipped the whole miner, right? We sent just the hash board. And those hash boards go in for repairs. These, uh, the S19J Pros come with a one year warranty, which is pretty much standard for the S19 series. So the S19J Pro, the S19 Pro, all that stuff, it's all standard. And uh, you have one year, and if they break, you send them in, you get it repaired for free, sent back. So how long did it take? It took about it took about a week to get there, and then for them to check it in, it takes some time. So if we send it out to like New Hampshire, it'll take like five days to get there, and then it'll take about another couple days or maybe a week for them to check it in. So your ticket number will actually show up as received. After that, it's going to take another you know, week or two for them to fix it, and then they send it back to you, which takes another five days. So basically, these are out for like three weeks. So once I identify that it's broken and I put it in a shipping box, you know, send it out for repairs, uh, that whole process will take about three weeks by the time I get them back. So these ones are all ready to go. Now, once I get them back, you can see that they're like in basically perfect condition because I, this is basically the condition I sent them out. Usually they send back the same exact boards you sent them because that's what they fix. So they send back the same exact boards. But sometimes they don't. Sometimes they just send you a different board for a different serial number. But it doesn't matter. These pretty much all look like the same you know, uh, condition boards that I sent out to them. So what we're going to do is we're going to plug these in. We've got to make sure they're running. So what we do is we write down the date I got them, which is 0819. So August 19th. I uh, write the date on there just so I know and then I pick miners that I want to plug or the pick the position I want to plug these guys into which means uh, probably somewhere around like the first container uh, like row three miner you know, two four five six and, and so on I pl probably plug them in there just so it's easy access and then I gotta take note because I want to make sure that if these break again that's why I have that number on here or, or uh, the permanent marker up here so then I know that if they break again, then it was, you know, the miner they repaired. And I'll send back that same miner and tell them that you guys didn't fix it. Um, and it makes a bigger deal, obviously. Right now, it doesn't really matter because you still have that one-year warranty. So if they break again, just send it off. But if they were out of warranty, right, 
then you have a 14 day repair warranty. So once you get them, you have 14 days to send it back. Right now it doesn't matter. You still have that one year, it's still active. But in the future, you have that 14 day. That's why I have to immediately plug them in and run them for like five days to make sure they're working fine. And then your warranty, basically the 14 day warranty be coming up to a close because the warranty starts when they ship it out, not when you get it, which is also very stupid from Bitmain. But that's what Bitmain does. Their 14 day warranty for repair boards start when they ship it, not when you get it. So if it's going five days being shipped out, too bad for you, right? That's uh, very not nice from Bitmain. But anyway, it doesn't matter to, for us. We have that one year warranty. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna take these same boards. I'm gonna plug them in into uh, some empty miners. Right now we have a couple of empty S19J Pro miners sitting there with no boards. Obviously these ones are been taken out and shipped for repairs. So we're gonna plug these back in. Since we have seven boards, which means we're gonna plug in, we're gonna create two miners. Then we have um, an extra board. So we're gonna unplug a working board from a third miner, plug in this repair board just to make sure that it's working. All right, let's do that now. All right, we got those three hash boards in there. One, two, three, all plugged in. Everything's ready to go. This one's an empty, so we had to rebuild the control board because it's been taken out, wires, you know, the fans, all that stuff, and then plug in the three hash boards here. There's the other stack right over there. We're gonna plug them in. Some empty ones we have on the side here. So where are we gonna plug this guy in? Uh, we're gonna plug him in, uh, put in probably like, I'm thinking, Probably this guy right here, unplug him. And then, this one right here. We're gonna have this weird red blinking light. I'm gonna show you guys while we're out of here. It's working fine, but it just has that. It's a very interesting glitch for s like game. Anyway, I'm plugging this guy and that guy. So that's one, two, and then I'll plug a random miner like over there. He's black one, these are the case. So I'll plug one of those and then take out a hash to plug in our uh, seven hash board. Alright, so let's do that and I'll show you guys the results. Alright, we got the miner here running. You can see 5126 found all the ASIC chips on K0, which is hash port 0. And then hash port 2, 3, basically 123, all 126, 126, 126. Everything was found. Now we scroll down here, make sure everything else is loaded. The EPROM is loading. Fixed frequency, 525. Everything is working good. Then it starts initializing everything over here. You can see that it started to set uh, chain frequency. Our target is 525. So this is automated Bitcoin firmware here working to set the frequency at chain 0, 2, 3, which is back for 1, 2, 3. It's setting the frequency, it keeps setting it, setting it, setting it, setting it, setting it, setting it until it gets to 525. Up here, or down here, 525, 525, 525. All three are set. That's going to set the voltages, 38, that's correct. Everything is correct. And then all the way down here, right here, it says status OK, so it will initialize. Initialization is done. Done. Basically, it's working. All three boards were found, no problems, no zero ASICs. All three boards set to 525, voltage is set to 13.8. And initialized, status okay, good, and started mining. So as of right now, this miner is mining. Looks like Bitmain's repair of three hash boards was successful. They fixed them up, sent them back, and they are working. So that's going to be it for this video. I hope you guys like it. Hit like, subscribe, hit the bell, go click to LLC.org. If you're looking to for us to set you up a GPU ASIC body farm, if you want to buy yourself some ASICs and GPUs, that's going to be it for this one. Until next time, bye.